Alright guys, I'm going to be showing you today how to keep from being your router cracked and how to crack other routers. Uh, in doing so, when you learn one, you can protect yourself from the other. Okay, I've opened up my uh, wireless utilities. This up here is my uh, USB antenna that I have. I've already connected to my fake network and it's my router. I've already cracked the web key and I have now connected myself to it. I have internet connection through it. Uh, for this setup, what you'll see, you'll see a picture of my computer, the router, and the internet. Uh, for the Belkin system, whenever you double click on the router, it's going to bring up the web page for your router. And when you do, the, do that, you're going to see something like this pop up. It's going to be like internet web page, but the first thing that's going to pop up is going to be this connection to the IP address that you want to connect to. And I want you to type in the username which will be here and the password which will be here this is the big weakness for a lot of router companies uh, not to mention when this web, web page pops up it says the IP address and then it says at and then it says the model name <laughs> of the freaking router so all a person has to do to crack this is copy this right here after it says at it says the IP address then at the router number name request a username and password so you copy the router model, you look it up on Google, you see who manufactures it, and there are at least two different websites that I know of that paste thousands of different default passwords. These are the passwords that come on the router from the factory. Not a lot of people changed them. So in order to protect yourself from this, you must change it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in the most common password for all of them is admin. A D M I N both for the username and the password on some of them all you have to do is type in admin for the username then hit OK because there is no password then once we've done this usually what you're gonna see is a uh, page like this usually pops up when you click on the router from your wireless utilities then you guys you can see here it's going to our basic setup for the IP address um, some people when they set this up they put in their email address for the username or it has a certain area in here when it pops up I'll show you it has a uh, area set up where you can type in your email address see host uh, domain name you can type that in don't give this information away if you have a factory default password let me just go ahead and maximize this uh, because you can run just a simple search engine uh, you scan the person's domain name and you paste it and type it in you could see all the chats that they've been having in certain chat rooms or what websites they're registered to you can find out a lot of information just by putting uh, the domain name in the search engine and running it give away a lot of your own information another thing I'm going to touch on here is why would somebody do this well number one is basically kids just seeing if they can or they cannot uh, maybe they just want to be a little bit of a douchebag and kick you off your own router which you can do by changing the IP address to match only theirs or they can kick different people different people off of their own router using all the basic setup pages here uh, you see the wireless you can see the security they can encrypt it put a password onto it and you won't know the password because they've changed it um, administrator you can get a lot of different information from this thing here so I cannot stress enough uh, change your default passwords don't give away any information that you don't have to and if you do have to put out information make sure it's fake uh, so people just can't run a search engine on you and find out privileged information that you don't want to give away. Uh, this will conclude our video about how to crack routers and keep yourself being cracked. Uh, subscribe and rate. Thank you.